why do plants need water? We all know that plants don't grow without water. You maybe don't know that enormous amounts of water are used in agriculture. It's estimated that 80 to 90% of all of the fresh water in the world is used in agriculture. And uh, getting plants to grow with less water is one of the main aims of agricultural technology and plant breeding. So why do plants need water? A major reason is photosynthesis. And I'll explain why. In photosynthesis, light energy is used to convert carbon dioxide, CO2, carbon dioxide, into carbohydrates. But how does the carbon dioxide get into the leaf? The carbon dioxide gets into the leaf through many, many small holes or pores called stomata on the leaf surface. So the carbon dioxide comes in. No problem. Except that water goes out through these pores. The leaf has, is humid inside, full of water. The sunlight is coming onto the leaf. It's heating the leaf up. The water is evaporating within the leaf and enormous amounts of water leave the leaf. Many thousand times more water leaves the leaf than carbon dioxide gets in. Now, as long as the plant has enough water, this isn't a problem. Water evaporating cools the leaf down, just like when we sweat, we cool ourselves. And the water, which is drawn out of the leaf, also pulls water up from the roots, and in these roots, nutrients are carried. I explain that in a video, how does water get up to the leaf? But what if the plant doesn't have enough water? When the plant doesn't have enough water, and it starts to lose water in the leaves, they go floppy, what happens is that the stomata close. And I've just drawn this here very schematically, a smaller hole. The small hole is smaller, and so less water goes out, it's written smaller. Okay, fine. But of course, if the hole is smaller, it also means that less carbon dioxide gets into the leaf. So the concentration in the leaf falls. And that means less photosynthesis. This means less growth. It's also a stress for the plant because usually the light energy is being used to do this chemistry, to turn carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. If it's not used for that, it is stress for the plant and the plant starts to have damage. This problem is even larger because the enzyme or the protein that uses carbon dioxide has a low affinity for carbon dioxide and a side reaction with oxygen. I explain that in the video, why plants make a mistake in photosynthesis. So this is much less photosynthesis when the carbon dioxide falls. So to save water, less photosynthesis. Is there a way, a way out of this dilemma? Actually, yes. Some plants have found a way to allow photosynthesis to occur even though the carbon dioxide is low and less water is lost. I'll explain that in two films about maize and about cactus plants.